Yo guys, what's going on? My name is Brad Jono and welcome to episode 4 of Jono FC. It's the second round of the FA Bars and it's time for the Battle of Bedfordshire. Let's get into it. Are we going to progress? Let's find out. Since you guys were last with us with Edgeware in the 8-1 victory, we've played five games, conceded two, and scored over 25 goals. First up, we had a 3-1 win against New Salamis. I think that's the best name in football, by the way. Lachlan, Mark, and Martin picking up a goal. They had a player sent off, and we still won 3-1 there. We played Milton Keynes Irish, picking up a 3-0 win. Corgi scoring and JD scoring as well. A 6-1 win against Langford away. Five different goal scorers. Sean grabbing two. St. Pantiliamon. We won 7-0 there. Sean grabbed himself a hat-trick. JD grabbed himself a double. And then came the big one. Bucking Buckingham Athletic away. We blew them out of the water. A 10-0 victory. JD Meeks grabbed himself five Goals, a goal every nine minutes. Sean grabbed two, Matty Wolf grabbed another, and Corgi Rutter from left wing grabbed himself two goals. Today, though, we have Sawbridgeworth in the second round of the FA Bars and then Amptill in Spartans South Mids Division 1 at the Battle of Bedfordshire. Who's going to come out on top? We're going to go straight into our team selection here. We're playing a 4 2 4 Geg and Press. Uh, Matty Wolf's box to box. I'm going to switch them two around a little bit, I think. Bass doesn't really like playing in that role. So we're just going to stick him on central midfielder on, automat on automatic, I think. No, I don't really know where to play him. Um, I'm going to put deep line playmaker and then Matty Wolf can play box to box, I think, there. This is completely the other way around. Short, uh, Corky's going to play on the left. I'm actually going to swap him out for uh, Bullions for this one. And then Ethan's going to drop in for um, Brian on that side. He prefers to play as a winger. That's fine. And so does Bullions. We're going to switch them to wingers. And then on the right, Joe's going to come in there. And actually, Hazard's going to come in for Matty Wolf. And we're going to play that way. For Baz, we're going to play like that. Let's get into this game then. Bullions is struggling with match sharpness. He'll be fine at this level, I'm pretty sure. FA Vars, second round. This is a competition we need to win from Tier 10. So, Henrik Wessler. I don't know any of their players again. They want us to tightly mark redhead. We can do that. We'll, we'll tightly mark the redhead. We'll get around. The only problem we're going to have with this team is complacency. Um, a few players are already getting complacent. After that 10-0 win, I'm not surprised. Against a team in our own division, 10-0, it's going to be huge. I'm going to encourage them early. Long throw from Blomfield. Cleared. Rook Eagles. We could concede here. This is our home ground at Goldenton Road. Fans are packed in, by the way. I think we've sold out nearly every game. Lachlan wins the ball back. Wolf picks it up. Breezy now on this right-hand side. Again, Wolf with the loose ball. Hazard flicks it into uh, Sean. Bullions plays the ball forward. Meekin shoots, and it's just wide. That would have been the perfect opportunity to take an early lead in this cup game. Sawbridgeworth, by the way, are in Tier 9. This is going to be such a difficult game. Wolf with his header, and it's over the bar. I was going to try and encourage him, but it's a little bit early again. Lachlan with a free kick, right footed in, cleared. Reese heads it clear, and this time Mike, the left back, sweet left foot, picks it up, brings it out wide. I've told him to dribble wide more, which is fine. His ball just gets picked up by Pennock very, very easily. We're playing on key highlights as well. Pennock's long ball, picked up by Redhead into Harnwell. I don't like this highlight. Rook Eagles now. We're gonna get. Are we gonna go a goal down here? Mike dives in with a with a bit of a rash challenge. Gets dragged out of position, but he went manages to win the ball inside his own half. Now drives down the left hand side. What can he do with it? Is he gonna whip a cross in? He is. He's gonna whip it in. Breezy gets on the end of it and scores his third goal of the season. Mike Bryan. Mike with his sweet left foot. He'll love that. Whip the ball in. Massively. Look at his long strides go. He breezes past Reese and Flack, whips the ball in, and Breezy does well to get past both the defender, Aghalor, and Bentley, and just into that bottom right-hand corner as Jono FC go 
Neil up. Corner. Breezy now. Lachlan doesn't quite win the header, but Hazard picks it up. Back to Blomfield. Out back now to Breezy. Can he whip an early ball across? And he does, but it's blocked again. We did really well about picking a ball up. Meekins is in. First time finished. 19th goal of the season. What a ball there from the right back. Our left back and our right back now with an assist in this game. And it's 2-0 after 13 minutes. Once again, Lachlan picks up the loose ball just inside their half. Longfield Joe picks a ball up, finds Breezy over the top, first time finish. Keepers had an absolute nightmare there. Not Bentley, that's not his name, it's Pennock. They look quite secure at the start. They haven't had a shot yet. Let's praise them as soon as we can. And then hopefully we can get rid of some of these sad faces down the bottom. Let's praise them here. Wolf's not happy. He doesn't like being praised as Matty. Whipped in. Redhead with the clearance though. Once again, Hazard picks it up inside their half. We're, we're better at picking the ball up than they are. Holdford now. Over to Bullions. Can he get a cross in? He does. Harden. 3-0. 23rd goal of the season for Sean. And we're not even at Christmas yet. Sean's going to get 50 goals this season. No problem. Maybe even 60. Dipping heck. This is going to be mental. Holdford over to Bullions. And we're just going to skip it because... We're going to be professional. We're going to celebrate all the goals. Breezy. Free kick. Deep. Whipped in. Roy gets his head to it. Off the bar. Should have been 4-0. This, this could easily be 6-7-0 before half time. Breezy whipped in. Corner. Lachlan headed over the bar as well. They don't bring any away fans at Tier 10. So maybe we could bring a few more home fans to the stadium. They still haven't had a shot on target. As we come into half time, 3-0. That's a fantastic performance. I'm going to look at some of the analytical data. Um, not shot map. What do we want? Teams. Average positions. Is this players? Average positions. There we go. So we're going to go just overall. Our positions here are so... Their average position is inside their own half all the time. A lot of the play being played here. Silbridge was there. Even our goalkeeper... Peter there. He's doing really, really well on the edge of his box. I just realised I forgot to change his um, his name again in the thingy. So we'll do that before episode five. We're going to praise him. We'll go to the dressing room. Uh, I don't want to let that. Ha I don't want to let our performance drop. And we're just going to go back out there and try again. They've made all three changes there. I'm going to actually take Matty Wolf off because he's complacent, and I don't like that in our team. Uh, Mark's going to drop back into that deep. Mark's going to drop back into that deep line plate. I'm going to pause it just in case one of us scores. And that's about it for now. I'm going to confirm and we're going to play. Always press him. Yeah, go on then. We'll press him. Thank you, Andy. Henrik now. Long pass out. Marriott forward to Bateman, but Blomfield picks it up. Back to Booth. Forward to Breezy. Can Joe get a long... He does get his long, long pass down the line. Meekins picks it up. Byline cross. Sean shoots. 24th goal of the season. This is going to be a rout again, ladies and gentlemen. There's nothing we can do about it, I'm afraid. But we're just going to get a rout. Every, the first few seasons, I think, are going to be very easy for this team. The only way it gets difficult is if our players are sold on. But I think they're going to enjoy their time here at Geno FC under us. I'm not going to lie. Booth headed down to Breezy. Forward to JD Meekin now. Can he get Sean on the ball? He can. Can Sean grab his hat-trick or does he play it in? Gets a pass, Bullion shoots, near post, he grabs his second goal of the season, and Sean grabs an assist this time. The ball ricocheted out to Bullion's on the left edge, and he just took his chance, he shot. See Meekin holding the ball up there, Sean wins the ball back off the defender hood, he goes to take a shot, ricochets off the, off the left back, and Bullion's has got enough pace to get to the ball before it goes over the line, and beat the keeper at his near post. Beautiful football once again, they still haven't had a shot of Sawbridgeworth. I think this definitely is going to be a final. I've noticed Sean's a little bit tired there. I know he's on a hat trick. But I think I'm going to have to take him off and bring Oliver Kennedy on now. As the I'm going to swap them two round, actually. A little bit lower familiarity, but that's not a problem. Uh, Lachlan's injured here. Diogo is on. We're going to put Roy as, Roy as the left as the right side of centre back there because he has more quality. Will be better on his weaker foot than Diogo is. We have two left footed centre backs now. We've had 20 shots, nine of which are on target. Their goalkeeper hasn't had a bad game. I would have taken Breezy off here or Hazard. We just have, don't have the subs. Breezy with a corner. Roy gets his head to it. 
And Roy grabs his second goal of the season as well. If, is there any player that isn't going to score this season, maybe other than the goalkeepers? Maybe we, got, maybe we have to put the goalkeepers on penalties. The corner's fantastic. This is Roy here. He's just loose. He just, he just gets there ahead of Bateman. And 6-0 to Journal FC. Sawbridgeworth have had two corners. They've had, not had a single shot. Penix clearance. Hazard wins the header. Bateman picks it up. Out to Aguilar. Once again, Blomfield wins the ball easily. Left-footed pass, no, right-footed pass. Kennedy chips the keeper. And sixth goal of the season for Ollie Kennedy as well. Joe grabs himself a second assist of the game. And it's 7-0 to Journal FC. Look at this here. He just holds the ball up. And first, first time, sees him through the middle. Kennedy's got enough pace. And then chips the keeper, who's come off his line. Beautiful stuff. What a win that is for Journo FC as well. We move on to the third round. We're going to do the draw in this episode as well. So we'll, we'll play to the draw. That's a good win for us. Well done. See who we get before we move on to the next game, which is against Ampton, which is our rivalry game in this division, the Battle of Bedfordshire, local rivals. Who else won? Binfield won. Bishops Cleve won. Bridlington one. I'd like that game. That's where my family live up in Bridlington. I wouldn't mind that game. That's a huge win for us. Is there anyone else we wouldn't mind? Hashtag United are out. Okay. Good. Good to see. Yorkshire Amateur. We'll take that one as well. Anywhere else? Anywhere else we're looking to go? No, not yet. Not yet. £900 in. Lachlan Booth injured. We'll go to leave him to physio. With too concerned we're not too concerned we've got enough strength of depth breezy there with the goal and the assist beautiful stuff that's not really what breezy looks like but maybe maybe one day he'll come and join us with his real face in the game dawn is is anyone showing call you right i want to improve game time i should have probably started him right at the end in that game then anyone else played today these are the same fixtures as we just saw let's quickly move on to the draw then we're on to the next day On to the next day. I think this Amphill game, they're sick. They were they were second at the end of last episode, and I thought it'd be a nice first versus second game. But are 18 games unbeaten now. Woodworth making positive positive developments. Currently operating at Vanaramal National South level. Okay, well that's good, seeing as that's a long way away. We've got a game in hand, and we're already 14 points clear. This is not going to be... What's the earliest we could win the league, I reckon? What do you think the earliest is? It's like third round draw, here we go. The 65 teams we're going to do an auto we're going to do an automatic draw and let's see where we come out here newark not newark actually no we'll go we'll go next team northwich guysborough gets stockton seaham get thetford waterham hersham rye hope Shildon get bridlington okay that's the game i wanted who's actually in it shall we have a look see who's in it berry afc that'd be a nice game cog and home maybe this uh Fairham Town. Allen would be a trip to Sheffield if we got if we got them away. Peterborough would be another local tie for us, just up the road. Westfields, I think, is based in around the Luton area. Yorkshire Amateur. Let's see who we get. Westfields, Winsford, okay, Bishop Cleve, Berry AFC. The teams I wanted are coming out. Ashen Ashington get Reigns, Panningham, Washington, Bashley, Newmarket, Long Eaton, got Binfield. We're still not coming out yet. Corn have gone to Odeby. Takely at Yorkshire Amateur. I think we're going to get a team that we didn't necessarily want. But let's just hope we get a home tie. Still nothing. Still nothing. Let's go a bit quicker. Journal FC. We're at home. Who do we want? This. Peterborough. Maybe. Carlisle City. Fairham Town. Stockport Town. There's a few. Leighton. Are they around the corner? Where are they based? Let's have a look. Dunstable. They're local to us as well. Leighton Town. That's another local game. Okay, I like that. I like that. The third round of the FA Vars is a local game against Leighton Town, who are, I believe, in the league above us. Is that right? Let's have a look. Yeah, they're in the league above us as well. Another tier 9 team for us to face. But we'll join you in six days time where we face Aptil in our next league game.
Right, gang, we've come back a day early because we've had our first youth take preview. Okay, and this is going to be very important because my plan is to try and keep the same players in and around the team. Our, the players we've got in our first team squad now are the players that we're going to try and keep. But our youth are the, team, are the players that are going to try and replace them. I don't really want to be signing anyone unless we have to. Okay, unless we really, really have to. We've got one centre-back who looks promising, two attacking midfielders, one winger. We've got a young Belgian midfielder who's caught the eye. And, to, and this is apparently an excellent group of players coming through. Our squad is already full of wonder kids. If we have one or two more to add to the list and we decide to keep them around, those players are, down, are up for renaming and they can be named after you guys. So if you want to, if you want to regen, come regen day, let me know down below. We can discuss it. We can go from there. Okay, but we're gonna we're gonna stay where we are now. We've got Amtel coming up tomorrow. We're gonna look at the league position. Okay, we're still in the same position as we were before. We're fourteen points ahead. If we win this game against Amtel, there's a chance we go seventeen points clear after fifteen games. We only play thirty-two games in a season, so we could win this league with seven, eight, nine games to go. A Kenish has picked up an injury before the game. He was going to start for me this game because we're rotating massively. So JD Meekin is going to have to start, right? Which means that Ethan is going to have to come onto the bench. Sean's going to drop out completely. But I want to try everyone. Ollie is the only player who hasn't played yet because he's been injured the whole season. I really want Ollie to get a game. Oliver Narber hasn't played at all this season. I really hope he can. Right, it's game day. We've got Amptil. What we're going to do, we're rotating fully. We're, we're playing the players that have played the least amount of games this season in their position so that then we can turn it around and see where we're going from there. Martin Wheeler starting at left back. Um, Diogo starting. Mist starting in goal. Like I said, Akene was going to start, but he's picked up an injury the, the day before the game. So anyone else uh, available for next match? uh yeah one match 90 minutes let's see who's available sean merrick wheeler yeah cool that's fine i mean they're not going to play tomorrow just because they're playing today but we will we'll miss the third round of the fa vars that won't be an episode no nah, we're not making those changes this is a missed in goal blomfield omega luke jesus wheeler merrick josh cowley in the middle breezy back out on the right corgi out on the left and then kennedy and then jd meeks again up front Merrick is oh, the Merrick and um, Kenne are the only ones without a seven other than Oliver Narbra who hasn't played at all this season. Let's submit that team and let's get into this game. Gorgie's pleased to be back in the team. I bet you are. I bet you are. Here we go. Mitchell Bailey in there. I don't know any of these players. No, I do not know any of those players. We should win this one fairly, fairly comfortably. Let's get into it as we walk out of Goldenstone Road. Yeah, and the stands are packed with players. They are packed. Once We're already 15 points clear come the start of the game. Encourage, long throw. Ten, it's a penalty. Done. See, didn't see what happened there. But Danny Keenly side will, will pick it up. And who's going to take it? Omega Luke stepping up from centre-back. And he scored his first goal of the season. He does score a penalty. And in fact, I don't think it was his first. It was his second goal of the season. But I think he's already started. But he goes over, punches the corner flag. He goes, bang. He gets his wrestling moves out. He smashes that corner flag. He drills that. Keeper went the right way. But he just couldn't quite get there. Could not quite get there. 10 minutes gone. We're 1-0 up. 17 points clear already over New Salamis. Who I think will get promoted even if they finish second, which is really good for them. I'm glad oh, they played well this season and we struggled against them. Oh, Lewis nearly scores a fantastic free kick there. New Salamis, we only beat 3 1, so I think their team is very good. I think they're a new team this season as well. Josh Cowley wins the ball, the big man in the middle. Orgy out on the left, whips the ball across the park to Breezy. Breezy's going to get past his man with ease. He's going to breeze past his man, I think. Blomfield, second cross. Meekin gets his head to it. 20th goal of the season. And our strikers are lethal. It doesn't matter who we play up front. They manage to score a goal. It's unbelievable. Breezy drifts past his man. Weeks there. Keen, keenly side just doesn't quite get it. Blomfield with the first time cross. Meekin heads it in. Beautiful goal. Beautiful. 
this is crazy stuff from us at the moment. Enfield Town have only got seven points. We've got 45. We've played... Who haven't we played? I don't think we've played Rainers Lane. I don't think we've played Amersham. There's a few teams we haven't played yet. Missed now. Long clearance. Meekin gets it into it. Breezy. Ball forward. Meekin again. Just, just misses out. Right, I'm sorry, something came up really in the middle of the game that I had to quickly pause it. But we've got a free kick under Cowley. And we didn't we didn't miss anything. I paused it as soon as we could. We didn't get anything from that free kick. With 16 points clear. Buckingham seems to have picked up some points against Hillingdon, I think they have. We're coming up to half time now. And we're we're only 2-0 up. This game's not been as easy as I would have hoped against Amptill. They are near the top of the league though. We're gonna praise. We're gonna go to the dressing room. Um, and I don't want them to get complacent, so I'm just going to put my hands on my hips. No, hands in my pockets, don't get complacent. They're motivated. Um, there's a lot more to come. There's a lot more to come, and then there's a lot more to come. I want to play well, and I want to get a few more goals. We're going to encourage them. Highlight from kickoff. Wheeler plays a long ball out. It's, in, it's intercepted by Weeks. This is a highlight from kickoff. We don't know if this doesn't often happen. This is a long one as well. Meekin picks up the poor ball from Weeks, and are we going to get a third just as the... Second half opens. He doesn't. We get. We managed to grab a corner though. Fifteen points clear. Winslow have moved up now into that position. Weeks headed on. Breezy now. Kennedy picks the ball up. Forward to JD Meekin again. Meekin's in one on one, and he slots into that bottom left hand corner, and it's gorgeous. It's an absolutely gorgeous finish. From JD Meekin there. Oh, this is fantastic. Ollie Kennedy picks up the ball, drives over the halfway line, plays the ball in. Meekin manages to drift past Keenly side. He's been awful for, for Amp till today, is Keenly side. And the number 10 blocks it away. He's not happy wearing number 10 today, is lazy number nine. He doesn't enjoy that. But talking of JD Meekin, he will be the next guest on the Brad Jenner's On The Mic podcast, which will be out on Friday. For those of you that, are, that have watched the last one with Ben, JD Meek will find out a lot more about Lazy Number 9, why he streams the way he does, um, where his football knowledge comes from, and, and, and other stuff about him as well. Because a lot of viewers asked for it. We didn't make any changes there. As, as the game just drifted away from us, We nothing happened in that last 35 minutes. And... We pick up a 3-0 win at home against Amptill, and we're still 15 points clear. That, that was a tough game. That was For us, that was a very, very tough game. We've gone to our team top there. We didn't make a single change. No one looked really tired at all. Once again, we're on 45 points from a max, maximum 45. Our goal difference is plus 70. I, I wonder who's going to come up with us, though, because it's quite tight being behind us. Anyone from Hillingdon, really, to Winslow, even Amptill... That's tight up there. There's 15, there's 17 games to go and there's only a 10 point gap between 10th and 2nd. Plenty of points available. But we've got a couple of cup games coming up off screen and we'll have a look at our, our schedule and see where we come and meet you for episode 5. I want to try and make it a bit interesting. I think it might be the FA Vars 4th round if we qualify. If we qualify, it'll probably be the 4th round of the F How many rounds are there in the FA Vars? Uh, maybe the fifth round of the FA Vars, if we get that far, depending on when that is. But that's 10 home games in a row now. We are unbeaten. We beat Amp till 3 0. But yeah, depending on when the FA Vars falls, I think we'll try and fit. Have we... Where haven't we played yet? Um, I think we'll probably do Amersham. We'll try and probably come back at the end of January. Yeah, we'll come back for Amersham at the end of January. And if the fifth round is around then too, we'll do that. If not, it will be uh, whoever we've played before or after Amersham. But um, thank you very much, gang. That was episode four of Journal FC. Catch you next time. Right, guys, just before I end, I want to say a massive thank you to all of those who have bought Journal FC jerseys the link is still in the description below you have until march the 15th to buy yours the link is in the description please please grab one if you want your name and number on it we can contribute the channel can contribute towards some of that depending on how long your name is and how many numbers you need if you want one you want two whatever 
you have to do it at your local sports store because I don't believe Victory Kits will be able to do that for us right now. But if that changes, obviously, we can let you know. But for now, thank you for enjoying the content. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed the video. Comment anything you want to see in future episodes, any teams you want us to look at, etc. Subscribe if you're new and always give me some feedback on how we can improve. Thank you very much, gang. That was episode four of Genome FC. Catch you next time.